Yeah, hi, I'm uh, Fabrice Salas. I'm the uh, expert composite at PRNF. So here you are in my world. This is a workshop. Uh, if you hear some background noise, we have uh, some guys working at the back there and we have the vacuum pump right now running. As uh, last night we did uh, a laminate for the main wing, so we have to keep it on the vacuum today. So welcome and uh, let's get on. So building a composite aircraft is always interesting and now becoming uh, electrical propulsion is, uh, is great. I think it's a future. It might not do all of the job which aircraft do, but I think it's uh, definitely the future for, uh, for some of the aircraft world. Well, it's always a, an interesting uh, discussion and, and uh, relationship, I want to say, with engineering because there is always the engineer side which uh, you know, are very specified with structures and fibers and so on, and the real world of building something. But uh, here we have a great team, and some of the people I've been working with for 10 years, so we know each other. I know what they want, what they need. They know what I can do and what the team can do. So it's, uh, it's fun, and it's, um, it's important to respect each other's problem. And, um, as a communication, we, we talk uh, easily daily, maybe two or three times uh, a day, especially when we start a new part. As uh, we start to look at the drawings, the final drawings and so on, we need to, to make sure everything is clear. So we know when component works well, when they really fit well together. But now, thanks to the CAD system, to CAD and computer design and CNC machining we have in-house, uh, in the back shop there, uh, most part do work well first time, I would say. So the kind of test we, we produce for UR1 as a, a structural test, fire test. So for example, for batteries, we did a fair few uh, tests for fires. They have to um, hold fire and gas fire in case of a, an emergency for a few minutes. So we tried to burn some panels, so that's always fun when we do those tests. We're burning panel and making black smokes or no smokes, which is a goal. So we don't have a toxic smoke, you can go in the cockpit. So one of the rules and main key we have to, to follow, to do is uh, really from the engineers, they tell me regularly, please follow the drawings. So that's, uh, that's very important for them and I guess for us as well. So we don't need to redo a part or repair or do what we call an NCR, non-conforming reports, uh, as the part is not what it should be. And other things we have, rules we have to follow, um, the resin manufacturer, for example, they give us uh, work times, temperature to use them, humidity. So we always try to work within two or three hours for the resin and be around 20 degrees Celsius maximum, 23, 24 maximum and within 50%, so that's some of the things we have to follow. As well, when we put vacuum bags, we have to make sure we have a good vacuum, maximum vacuum possible, which is 0, 92 bars. So some, some of those things are rules we really have to follow. And of course, wetting out the material properly, as at the moment we use this dry carbon fiber that we see here. And uh, it's a fiber which drinks a lot of resin, so we have to make sure we wet it out properly. And uh, some of the other material we use as well, we have to, to follow those. So at the moment we, have, uh, we always have a few things going on at the same time. So the main subject right now is a wing, or the upper wing skins. So we nearly finished this. Uh, we have one more layer to put on. We uh, did yesterday uh, one of the last layer. And uh, we're having the uh, main spa, we're going to start laminating. Well, I think this is a great project. I'm really happy to be here. We, uh, we have a small team and it's quite exciting. I think the air race is going to be cool. 